Former First Lady Barbara Bush is being treated for bronchitis, family spokesman Jim McGraw told ABC News Today. Barbara Bush, 91, entered Houston Methodist Hospital Wednesday morning as a precaution after suffering fatigue and coughing. She had not been feeling well for a couple of weeks but is resting comfortably, McGraw said Wednesday. He confirmed to ABC News Today that Barbara Bush was diagnosed with bronchitis. It's unclear when the former first lady will be released from the hospital. Physicians want to see how she responds to treatment before sending her home, McGraw said. Barbara Bush's husband, former President George H.W. Bush, has been hospitalized at the same medical center since Saturday. He was transferred to the intensive care unit Wednesday for an acute respiratory problem stemming from pneumonia, McGraw said in a statement. The 92-year-old former president underwent a procedure to protect and clear his airway that required sedation, the statement said. As of Wednesday, George H.W. Bush was stable and resting comfortably at the hospital, where McGraw said he will remain for observation. Doctors initially believed the 41st president would be allowed to return home later this week after several days of treatment, but his stay has been extended. There is no timetable for his release according to the family spokesman. During his final presidential news conference Wednesday afternoon, President Obama said he had been in touch with the family about the Bush's conditions. They have not only dedicated their lives to this country. They have been a constant source of friendship and support and good counsel for Michelle and me over the years, Obama told reporters. They are as fine a couple as we know, and so we want to send our prayers and our love to them. Really good people. Cool.